Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use exception handling in Python. So first of all, what are exceptions? So an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program that disrupts the normal flow of the program. So basically, exception is an unexpected event which disrupts the normal flow of the program. So let me show you some examples of exceptions which may occur during the execution of a program. So to start with, I'm going to open the PyCharm Python console and then I'm going to maximize this uh, PyCharm Python control. And let me also just clear this uh, terminal. So we will start from the top. So let's say we have a number and we divide this number by zero. And when we press enter, it's going to give us this exception which says zero division error. So this zero division error is an exception when you divide anything by zero in Python. Let me show you some more examples. So let's say I want to add a number and a string. Let's say 10 plus 10. But this 10 is an integer and this 10 is a string. And when I run the command, it says type error, unsupported operand types for int and string. So we cannot add a number and a string in Python. So this type error is another kind of exception. Let's say I'm going to just use a variable name a, b, c, which I haven't declared till now. And when I press enter, it's going to once again give me this exception, which says name errors. Name ABC is not defined, which is true because we haven't defined the name ABC, but we are calling this variable, which we haven't defined. So we get this exception, which says name error. Next, let me define a variable and I'm going to assign some uh, tuple values here, one and two. And now what I want to do is I want to call some method. So you can see some methods are available for this tuple. Now let's call some random method using this tuple variable. It'll give us an error which says attribute error. Tuple object has no attribute, whatever attribute I have provided here. So this attribute is not present in the tuple object. Also, when you call our method, let me call some other method which is not there. And once again, when I press enter, once again, I get this error which says attribute error because this function is not present in the tuple object. So these are all exceptions in Python. Attribute error or name error or type error or zero division error, all are exceptions in Python. Now, if you want to see more exceptions, you can use the help inbuilt method and then you can write uh, built-ins and then press enter. It gives me the name error once again because I need to first of all import this built-in module. So import built-ins and I'm going to once again use help and inside the parenthesis built-in and then press enter which is going to give me this kind of output. And when I go at the top of this output, so let me just scroll at the top. And here you will see under the classes, there is an object class. And under the object class, there is a base exception class. And under the base exception comes the exception class. And under the exception, there is a big list of exceptions, which you can see here. So zero division error we have already seen or when you scroll down name error we have already seen. So all the exceptions which Python may throw are all listed here. So if you want to see the list of all the exceptions, you can uh, just give this method which is help built-in, but before that you need to import this built-in module and then it's going to show you this kind of output and, and you will also be able to see all these exceptions in Python. Now let me show you a real life example of exceptions in Python. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define some variables here. So first variable is result and I'm going to initialize it with the value none 
and then I'm going to declare two variables let's say a which takes an input and we want to ask the user to provide some numbers so let's say number one using the variable a and in the same way I'm going to, going to declare a variable b which also asks the user to provide a second number but you already know that this input will return the string so we can uh, just uh, convert this string into a float let's say so I'm going to just cast the output output of this uh, input string to a float value and then what I want to do is I want to save the division of the two numbers a and b into the result so a divided by b i want to save it into the result and then at last i would just want to print the value of the result now let's run this program so right click run the file name and then let me provide some numbers here so five and six and press enter it's going to give me the result which is the division of these two numbers let me run the program once again and this time I will provide 10 and the second number is equal to 0 here and we know that when we divide some number by 0 we get this exception which says 0 division error and you will also observe that as soon as this error is thrown so this error comes from this line line 5 so when you click on this line it shows us that this error is coming from this line which is the division of these two numbers and as soon as this exception occurs all the code which we want to execute after that will not be executed so we were printing this result here but it's not printed let me print something else here so I'm going to just say end and once again I'm going to run the program and I'm going to provide the same inputs here and you can see neither this statement is printed nor the end is printed so whenever an exception occurs python stops whatever it is doing so in our case whenever this exception is thrown at this line both these statements will not be executed and why these two lines of code will not be executed because we haven't handled this exception so python allows us to handle the exception which we are not doing right now that's why it stops everything whenever this exception occurs so how to handle these type of exceptions so you can handle these type of exceptions using a try accept keyword so just write try and then under the try you write whatever you want to test and then you write accept keyword here so just write accept and then under the accept you write some code which you perform when the exception is thrown so i'm going to just say this error which is float division error okay so this is what i'm going to print and don't forget to put colon in front of accept and try so let me run the code and let me give the same condition so 10 and second is 0 and this time you will see that this exception is not thrown and the result is also printed and the end line is also printed you can see here and also this line is executed which comes from the accept statement which says float division error so whenever you use try accept notation first of all your code under a try will be evaluated and if it throws some exception then whatever code you write under the accept will be executed and then all the other statements will be executed whatever comes after this try accept code so this time no error is thrown and we have handled this error and you can see clearly it says that float division by zero which means it comes to the accept condition so now we are handling this error which is zero division error now in other condition when this error is not thrown so we will just give some valid value 10 and 5 so no zero division error will be thrown and when i press enter you will see that result will be printed and end will be printed by these two lines but no accept statement will be printed so this 
statement is not executed because this code has not thrown any error because there is no error occurred. Now, as I have shown you that all the exceptions are under exception class. So we can also write here exception and then we can uh, just write this notation exception as E and this will show us more details of the error. Okay, so I'm going to just write here error is equal to and then I'm going to just print whatever the content of E is. And once again, when I run the code and I will give the number with the zero here and you will see it prints this error which says float division by zero. So this is printed using this E keyword which shows us the correct error. I have also shown you that this exception is the base class of zero division error. So for example, when I will uh, try to know the type of this error E and when I run the code once again and let me provide this input once again, you will see that this error is of type zero division error. So we know that this exception is thrown from this class. So instead of writing this generic exception class, we can also use this zero division error here. And now whenever this specific error is thrown, then only this will be printed here. So let me run the code once again and let me give this input here and you will see once again this line of code is printed using this statement and that means zero division error is caught by this line of code and then the statement under that is printed. Now let's say this line of code throws some other kind of error other than zero division error. So let me just remove this uh, typecasting of float here. That means it's going to throw us some other kind of error, which is not zero division error. And let me run the code now. And I will provide two numbers here once again. And you will see that now this error is different, which is type error, which says unsupported type string and float. So why is this happening? We are catching the exception using this accept keyword, but we are only catching the zero division exception. We are not catching the type error exception. That's why our program is stopped and these two lines of code is not executed. So you need to either use the base class of the exception, which is this one exception, and when you run the code and when you write these input, it will be handled and you can see this time type error is caught. It's not a zero division error, but the type error which comes because the type which we have provided here is string and we are dividing string by a float value which throws this error. So if you want to catch all the exceptions, you use this base class but it's not a good practice. You need to have information about your exceptions. So I'm going to once again write this zero exception error here. And what I can do more here is I can add one more accept statement here. And this time, instead of zero division error, I can say catch also type error. Okay, so I'm going to just write type error and here zero division error so we know from where this error is coming. And when I run the code once again, and when I give the inputs, you will see that this error is coming from this line of code. So this accept statement is catching your exception, which is type error. Now, when I just add this uh, typecast of float once again, and when I run the code once again, and when I provide 10 and zero once again, you will see this error is caught by the other accept statement, which is this statement, which is used to catch the zero division error. So you can also provide multiple accept statement in order to catch multiple exceptions in Python. So this is how you can do exception handling in Python. There is more to exception handling, which I will cover in the next video. So please stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.